only on 10 TV. Our camera goes along with local drug agents searching for a suspected meth lab, and they think they found one. It is all part of a daily operation to keep drugs off the streets. 10 TV's Chuck Strickler just got back from Lancaster and joins us live in the studio now. Chuck. Well, Kristen, we went along for the ride today with the Fairfield Hocking Major Crimes Unit, a home on South Columbus Street in Lancaster, the main target. It started with complaints from neighbors and it led to a discovery of drug making materials inside. Which one do you guys say is, is number one? With the surveillance and intelligence done, agents with the Fairfield Hocking Major Crimes Unit map out their day. This will be a good one. Okay. We, we can do Columbus Street. Agents on their way to stop an alleged drug making operation. This home, one stop on a list of 22 potential targets they plan to hit. One of the agents enters the home wearing a 10 TV camera. In no time, a discovery is made in one of the rooms. I think we're going to have the money right here. Right there is a kit for methamphetamine. Most of the evidence found in a backpack, but something even more disturbing. In the one location where we found these items, uh, there was a small child uh, living in that room with those folks. In fact, we found some of the manufacturing materials in a diaper bag. So, I mean, that's the mentality of the, the folks that we're dealing with here. There's finished product up there. The cleanup to secure the potentially explosive materials begins immediately. If, if I find any vessels, I'm going to bring them out right away. Any day that we are out working, this is what we run into. Sergeant Jared Collins says it's a problem that keeps his agents more than busy. Drug lab cases are jumping every year from 190 in 2011 to 398 in 2012 and 665 last year, with potentially even more cases this year. I don't necessarily think we're any different than any other community, but uh, we are being extremely proactive in the abatement of these labs. For these agents, just another day on the job to help stop the drug pipeline at its source. Big picture things, there are ways to solve the problem. Uh, they're a little beyond our grasp, but uh, all we can really do is kind of plot along and uh, take as many off as we can. Now another problem the agents ran into today at that house, bed bugs. Two arrests came out of this, a man and a woman. They're charged with the illegal assembly of chemicals and child endangerment, two felonies. A warrant is out for another man as well tonight. By the way, that 17-month-old child in the home is in the care of Child Protective Services tonight. Live in the studio, Chuck Strickler, 10TV News.